Hello Chipmunk and Chipette fans, I hope you all had a great Halloween, and today I thought it would be a good idea for another channel update. The batch of uploads that I have put out over the last few months since my last update seem to have done... eh, okay. I'm proud of how they turned out, even though I had to make a few changes to my initial plan. Some of them I even had to re-record entirely just to make sure my information was completely accurate. I wish I could do a Q&A segment like I said I wanted to do in my last video, but I haven't gotten enough comments to warrant that. Instead, I want to ask you guys some questions, because I would like an opinion on what I should do for future videos, whether they be Alvin and the Chipmunks elaborations, retrospectives on chipmunk shows or films, fact videos, stuff like that. I've had quite a few ideas that I think sound good on paper, or typed word document in this case, but I'm having trouble figuring out how to execute into a full-length script. For example, would you guys be interested in videos that explain more scientific things about Alvin and the Chipmunks? Kind of like the very first video I did on this channel about what the Chipmunk characters are biologically, link will be in the i-card above where I even gave them a fictitious binomial name, Grandi Tamias Bagdasarianai. I'll get back to this in a moment. I've been thinking about doing a pair of videos discussing some of the scientific accuracies and inaccuracies that occur in the CGI ser- Can we call it something else besides the CGI series or Nickelodeon series or current series so that I don't have to yell out the actual name, Alvin, and the chipmunks? Should I go with- 2015 series for now. I think I'll do that until we can come up with a better short name. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think we should call it. Where was I? Oh right, science. For as much as it is just a cartoon that doesn't have to be overanalyzed, there are occasionally moments in Alvin, see, that reference real world facts. You can skip to the time code labeled at the bottom of the screen if you don't want to hear me ramble about chipmunk science. It's okay, there's no shame if you think it's boring. Yeah, go ahead. Anyway, I was even thinking about doing a video entirely dedicated to the speculative biology of the suck toad from that season 2 episode of Al- I mean, the 2015 series. I'll even come up with a scientific name for the suck toads and decide where they would fit in the taxonomic tree of amphibians. But I'm not sure if you guys would find that boring, especially since it has almost nothing to do with chipmunks and is more like me spouting out my vast knowledge of amphibians for 10 minutes. Oh, and it may be a video discussing the volcanology of Chipwrecked and whether or not they would have survived escaping the island from it. Next order of business, still keeping with the science theme, yes, I'm boring you, I've been considering a name change from Grandi Tamias to Megatamias. It's too long to explain without going into taxonomy and how biological nomenclature works, but guess what, I'm going to do it anyway. Long story short, I wasn't sure if I could use both Greek and Latin root words in a valid scientific genus name at the time I first came up with my username a few years ago when I officially joined Monkopedia and a chipmunk forum. Although, there are some real-world examples of scientific names like that, such as Tyrannosaurus. It's actually made from both Greek and Latin root words. If Grandi Tamias wouldn't turn out to be valid, I could go full Greek with the name and change it to Megatamias, similar to real-life Megalosaurus, Megatherium, Megalodon, referring to the uh, chipmunks in most iterations of Alvin and the chipmunks being larger than real ones. Neotamias is a full Greek name for a real chipmunk genus, which again I touched upon in my first video. So yeah, I might want to go with a name that actually makes sense like that. And hey, for a while, Monk Media kept changing their names, so now they're Monkey Media, so just one name change for me wouldn't be so big. Lastly, I will be taking my hiatus as I planned in my last update video. I have one more upload coming uh, this upcoming Friday. It's a podcast about chipmunk DVDs, and I will return after that a few days before Christmas with a retrospective on Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakle, to celebrate its 10th anniversary. I think I'll just make that one a podcast too, since I won't have any evidence or stuff like that to explain about it like I would usually do. Uh, it'll just be my thoughts and explaining my experience with it when I saw the movie as a kid, and I know 
those of you who really enjoy the movie verse and are around the same age as me will definitely love that. If the movie verse isn't really your thing and prefer the other chipmunk generations instead, then don't worry. For January onwards, I will have some stuff coming, but I could definitely use some suggestions. Here are the few that I have so far that I will for sure be doing. As always, I would be very interested to hear in the comments which of these ideas you're most anticipating. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, like I said, uh, feel free to leave suggestions for future videos in the comments. Uh, don't forget that you're also welcome to like, subscribe, and of course, if you would like to help out the channel even more, uh, you please spread this video around the chipmunk fan communities. With that said, I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time in watching it.